Raider Nation, it's your boy Graphic Raider, man. Back with another quick video, the views expressed to our graphic podcast. Welcome to the Black Hole, a Raiders YouTube, y'all. Let's get straight to it. Everybody in the live chat last night, we had a live, 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 live last night. Loved it, man. The nation was asking me my opinion, so I decided on doing a video about it. Let's talk about it. Josh Flash Gordon. He has officially applied for reinstatement to the NFL. Look, y'all, he is very, very, very far removed from his Pro Bowl slash All-Pro 2013 year with Cleveland, where he led the league in receiving yards with 1,646. He also added nine TDs in only 14 games with the Browns. That is exceptional. But since then, I believe he hasn't had over 800 receiving yards, and he has came back down to earth. Last year, he played for the Zappers. Yeah, the Zappers of the FCF. It's a fan-controlled league. Look, y'all, this league is actually a league where the fans call the plays. That's how far Josh Gordon has fell down, like just came down drastically. It's, it's actually really sad, man, because this guy has crazy potential. He's been suspended five separate instances for violation of league substance abuse policy. Look, y'all, we already upgraded at the wide receiver position this year with the additions of John Brown and Willie Sneed. Flash's bouts with substance abuse can either hinder Waller and Crosby with their sobriety, or they could take him under their wing and work a twist where this guy comes back full circle and just takes the league by storm. Who knows? But I'm going to tell y'all one thing. Vegas is a tough city to battle your demons in. Uh, when active, this guy is dynamic, but he has way too many red flags for this young team. He's also 30 years old, and I just seen Kenyon Drake's interview where he said he's expected to play a lot of receiver this year. That may be a reason also, y'all, why we kept Jalen Rashard with that $3.5 million contract. But with that being said, man, I'm good on him, and I'm also good with the former first-rounder, Nikhil Harry, who just requested a trade out of New England. He's a first rounder in 2019, has not had a great two years in this league thus far. Um, I expect big years out of Henry Ruggs and Brian Edwards, y'all. So it's a big no with me, with Josh Gordon and uh, Nikhil uh, Harry, man. I, I, like, I like both of them. I watched Josh Gordon since the Baylor days. Uh, Harry also since the Arizona State days. It's a big no for me, y'all. I really believe that we have this wide receiving core set in stone. The additions of Willie Sneed, man, and John Brown and Kenyon Drake are going to work wonders for this offense. Also with the healthy Foster Moreau, we're going to be even more dynamic than what we were last year. And to be honest, we weren't really in on the Julio Jones sweepstakes. So that lets me know if Gruden can stop and, 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 and not go for a future Hall of Famer in Julio Jones, that he is very satisfied with what he already has right now. But leave me some comments in the comment section, Nation. What do y'all think about Josh Gordon? A Raider or not? I'm sorry, y'all. It's a big no for me. I love the potential that this guy has. I just don't trust him. And I know the league is, is, is really just tempered down a lot with the weed. You know what I mean? It's pretty much legal now. Um, but I just, you never know with this guy, man. We cannot allow him to come in and maybe mess up this locker room because we have some good guys and some young guys that are looking to grow in, in year two. It's your boy Graphic Greater. The views expressed to your graphic podcast. I love y'all nation. One.